Hi, it's Shannon back from houseimprovements.com and uh, today I have another video on how to insulate your rim joist area. So the rim joist area is right here. It's uh, between your joists but above your basement walls. You always have this cavity here. It's really drafty, really cold typically so uh, it's a big big contributor to any drafts or cold air in your house so it's something that needs to be sealed up. Um, we over here showed you there's another video just showing you how to do it with rigid foam especially around obstacles like this the rigid foam way is you're going to see in a minute is going to be a lot easier than dealing with this so but we just got a typical opening here with nothing in it there's no electrical or anything and uh, the first thing we want to do oh you'll also notice this one's got concrete infill so your your cavity might actually be deeper so you, it might take you more layers of insulation so but we're just using bad insulation just putting it up in the void and uh, just use you know as many or whatever thickness you need to uh, basically fill it up right out to the outside this one's a little big uh, just fill it right up to the face of this the new framed wall in your basement. Okay, so we've got that insulation in there. Now, what, we, what we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you how to use 6 mil uh, air, uh, air vapor uh, barrier poly to uh, fill in this opening. It's very, very messy. I hate doing it, but it is one way of doing it, and we thought it'd be worth showing. Um, so we've got that insulated. We've got some square, a square of... Uh, the vapor barrier material cut. So we want it a little bit wider and a little bit longer than the opening. So you can see like that. What we're gonna do is run acoustical caulking all the way along, you know, all four sides of that. And then we've got to put this into that into there, seal it and staple it in place. Acoustical caulking is really messy, so try not to get it on anything because it doesn't come off real well. Uh, that's one of the reasons I don't like using this method. So we're just going to put a bead right along there and right down onto this uh, this other poly. Now you probably can't see it but I am putting a bead along there but it's not showing up because of the other acoustical right underneath it. Back up this way, up that side and across the top. Okay, so just be slow and methodical with this stuff or you'll end up with it on you. Make sure it's not going to drip down on the floor because it will ooze out of there sometimes. Okay, so we've got our, our little square. Now this is where you tend to get messy. The trick is getting it in there without getting it on your hands or your clothes or anything else. It's not bad when there's no obst obstructions in the way like this one. As soon as you get some wires in, in the road or ducting or plumbing or anything it could be a real pain so just press it into that acoustical just like that we'll get a few staples in it before it moves on us try to staple right through the poly and right into the acoustical now you'll find that you'll need a few more staples than when you're normally just doing vapor barrier just because of the tight quarters. Get enough in there that that isn't going to drop down and come free of the uh, bead that you put there. Now we need, you can kind of see how this, the two edges come out here. We'll just make a little cut just back. See, I already got it on my knife. Get it back there just so that'll fold out of the way when you do your drywall. Get some staples in here. Just like so. Just kind of staple that flap down out of the way. Get a couple extra in this so that over time it doesn't uh, come up. Now, I actually think I got very little on me, but you can imagine in the pro process of doing, uh, I don't know how many in a typical house, there's going to be 60 or 70 of these spaces at least, you're going to get some on you. So uh, it can be very messy and that's why I prefer this method right here or 
Uh, we have another video showing uh, actually using a spray foam kit and actually spray foaming that whole area. So you might want to check those two methods out as well. So that was short and sweet. Um, you know, not a lot to it and I didn't get any black on me, so that's even better. So, uh, so thanks for watching. Um, please, if you have any questions about this, please go to our forum and post your questions up there. It's just way easier for us to communicate back and forth and for me to answer you uh, than posting in the comments below here. Uh, if you like the video or like what, what you've seen here, give us a thumbs up or uh, post, a, post a comment below just saying that you enjoyed it and uh, subscribe to our channel as well. Uh, if you want, you can also uh, follow me on Facebook and on Twitter. And uh, if you want, you can also check out our Patreon campaign. So anyways, good luck with your project and uh, getting your Joyce box ends all sealed up and ready to have the inspector look, check them out. Thanks for watching.